later. So I'm going to talk you through how to make a video. So last year I made, uh, I did a how to make a video session with how to make a video in PowerPoint and Keynote. Um, so that was for people that are like at really kind of beginning levels. Um, this year I'm going to basically take it a little bit further and I'm, I'll take it in, into a little bit more of a sort of technical kind of video creation process that anyone can really use in iMovie. Uh, iMovie is probably the most commonly available um, video editing platform. It's also on every single phone now as well. Um, but the principles for video making is pretty much the same. You know, you need to find, you know, five fundamental things and then put them into some type of a editing, you know, system. So hopefully if you don't have access to iMovie, you can still utilise some of the resources that I'm going to give you today um, and let that be, you know, what you actually um, gain, gain from the session. So can we just flick over to my computer screen view for a second? Um, so on Hack Live, it's what you're actually looking at right now. I'm just going to quickly make sure that I'm muted. There I am talking on Hack Live. Go to Neil. If you scroll down a little bit, I've made a resource for you called Hack Media. Um, I do this every year. So for people that have been with us before, this will sort of make sense. But Hack, Hack Media is basically a place, a Dropbox space, where even if you have no ability to find and source photos and footage or anything, it's all here for you, which is actually really quite, really quite fun. I've even gone as far as putting the Hackathon theme song, which is the song that we put on the back of all of the uh, video content that you see, like the sponsors videos or the prizes videos. So that's actually in there as well. So you, you really do have everything that you need to make a video within this, this, this folder here. Photos, we've collated so many photos for you over the, the um, Hackathon period. A lot of it's stuff that you're seeing in our communication. Um, and then some of it's just photos that we keep finding along the way of, of sort of digging through photo, you know, uh, catalogs. So we've been saving those over time and just putting them into this little photo reel here. Um, a lot of the images that you're seeing on your challenge statements, those PDFs that you've been reviewing probably, you know, all morning and yesterday, you'll also locate those in this Dropbox folder as well. Uh, before we get stuck in, I'm going to give you two resources that are going to change your life. Um, I always like to teach these sessions, even though that we have obviously, you know, paid subscriptions with really reputable uh, f stock footage, um, you know, image and, and footage kind of like platforms. It's always nice when we teach these types of how to make a video sessions that we kind of use resources that are free and available and unlocked fit to everybody. So the first one resource that I'm going to tell you about is called pixels.com. Pretty much everything on here is free. There is so much video footage on here that is just like free and accessible that it's just insane. I've just literally searched Pacific Islands and I've got like, you know, three over 3,000 videos <laughs> and over 16,000 photos, which is crazy. Uh, the second resource that I use a lot for free photos, and, and I've read the terms and conditions on these, you can, you can almost print them on, onto a t-shirt, sell that t-shirt, make a million dollars and you don't have to uh, you don't have to kind of pay for that, that asset, which is just crazy. So a lot of the time these people are just sort of starting out in videography and photography and they set up these platforms so they can build SEO, stronger SEO to their website. So it's, everyone's benefiting from it. Um, the second one's called unsplash.com. And you can see even just a search from Pacific Islands, you start to get some really beautiful photos that start to appear. So the three things or the four things that we need to make a really strong video is some stock footage, some photographs, some information slides, and probably some voiceover content. So you can dig around to these two resources, again, pixels.com and Unsplash, or you can head straight to um, the Hack Life page and just go straight to Hack Media where it's pretty much all there for you. The only risk of you utilizing everything that I've put into Hack Media is that if everybody does that, their videos are gonna look pretty similar, which is, isn't too great. Um, I know that sometimes we talk, talk a big game about the hackathon not really just being purely about making a stunning video, but I mean, you know, it's, it's also about storytelling. So by this stage, it's like noon on Saturday. By this stage, you really should have identified who in your team is going to be committed to making the video. Like, you should be doing it now. Um, you know, it can take a good sort of day for that storyline to sort of progress and sort of take shape. And I think that if you're sort of making the video alongside the idea taking shape and taking form and all of the sort of research and, and analysis that will go into actually um, uncovering your solution, uh, the video process sh should be basically happening along the same timeline and, and with that same process in mind. Um, and, you know, these things can take 
sometimes you'll probably sort of anticipate that you might need about five hours to make a video, but when it comes to technology, we know that that's just not the case and sometimes there's technical issues and bugs. So I, I'm just saying give yourself a lot of time and probably pick that key person in your group that's probably the strongest to making it, for making a video. Um, okay, so I'm just going to go and make a video. I think today, as I said, for, for the purpose of, of, of just um, trying something new and showing you guys something new, I'm going to make a video in um, iMovie and then um, I'm going to post the video from last year of me making a video out of PowerPoint, which is actually quite fun. And Keynote, for those more kind of beginner people, you guys can watch that on Hack Live um, after, after I finish this kind of presentation. So this is iMovie. Uh, we need to start a new project by uh, literally just going and creating a new project. It gives you what's called a sort of like timeline view down the bottom here with a little preview up on the top right hand corner. Everything in iMovie, if you're working on a Mac, I mean, even if you're working on a on a um, on an iPhone, it's like it's it's pretty simple to kind of get content in there. So these are some videos that we've already kind of put into Hack Media. Um, you know, even having a look at some that's that's already in there and available to you to put it into the timeline. It's as simple as dragging and dropping it down um, into the music. This is our theme song. Can we hear this on the desk? Sorry, we're just going to get the audio going so you can hear that. That's our theme song. Live for the moment. So even dragging and dropping down here into your audio reel and moving it around. We've already got something pretty cool. Don't overthink this. It's really sort of about utilising, you know, a couple of key things to make it really important. Okay, the number one thing that I think that you should spend a lot of time on is working out what type of information and what various bits of information you need over the top of it. I do two things. I like to make information slides. So slides are single messages like this one, 2021 Innovation, sorry, Humanitarian Innovation Hackathon. So I'll make this as a slide, as a single message, and I'm just going to show you, I'm going to save that and I'll save it into the same folder so you can see it in there. Uh, or you can do it as a voiceover as we were, you know, as, as an additional kind of element to that. Don't overthink voiceovers. Like I, I have an audio record booth at our office and I'll do a voiceover in there and then the next day I'll be stuck in lockdown at my house and I'll do it over my phone. Like I'll open voice record and I'll just say, you know, welcome to the 2021 Humanitarian Innovation Hackathon. This year we've got over 200 participants from every major university across Australia and I'll push that pause and then drop it into my timeline. So you don't need to over engineer these things. Your voice recording on your phone and on your iPads and on your devices is exceptionally good. So if you do want to add any voiceover, just use your device and do that. Um, if you don't want to though, you know, it's really important that you start factoring in or start considering what type of kind of like information slides you want to put in there. So I've just made that one from, um, it's probably not saved yet. I have just made this one in Photoshop. Another really cool trick is to make all of your information slides in PowerPoint or in Keynote, and then you can export them as, um, you could actually export them as, um, as images, which will export it as a JPEG. Oh, I'm gonna put that as an S2. Sorry, I just saved it to the wrong folder because I was talking the whole time, and then when I went to find it, it wasn't where I said I was gonna put it, which is a little annoying. Why am I not getting that there? Sorry, I'm putting it somewhere. Oh, sorry, I'm saving it into the wrong folder. Okay, so this is my this is my information slide here. So this is the information slide that I'm just going to drop in. So the 2021 Humanitarian Innovation Hackathon. And again, I'm just going to drag and drop that in here somewhere. So I can put it as an, as an overlay on the top, or I can actually start my entire video with it. So think about ways to incorporate graphs and drawings and pieces of information. One of the key things that I always teach when I'm teaching making a video is use the music because it's just, can when I hear that a little bit louder? See, here that's just gone a little bit too long. I can't hear my um, audio very well. Production desk. Oh, see, to the music, to the music, to the music. Uh, iPhone, I mean, iMovie loves to do that Ken Burns effect, which isn't so great. And then every time you hear a beat, just change, change it up. So we can hear that there's a different beat there. So let's go and just put some photos in. Yep, 
Let's see what we got now. Oh, two second drag and drop. Oh, and then back to our raw footage. See? Okay, it's getting a bit fast now. Dun, dun, dun. Maybe we'll put the date. So, um, it's uh, July 23rd. Oh, I'm going to put it in caps. No, I'm not. July 23rd to the 20, is it the 25th? 2021. I'm going to centre my slide, pop it in there. The annoying thing about making these types of slides, if you're making them in Photoshop, you need to sort of export them every time you make them. I just use the same artboard over and over again and just write new things on it. Number three. Here we go, with a date. See? Again, going with the music. Uh, and now we might even just find some new footage. So let's go back to the pixels and see what else is on there so I can show you how to actually download it. So when you're searching Pacific Islands or whatever it is that you want to search, you can see that there's photos up here on the left-hand side and then there's videos in the middle. So you actually need to just select videos so you can start seeing some video content. And you can start seeing, getting some inspiration for where we may have been finding a lot of that kind of like island cam from. But these are just free to download. And then you just download them. Hack media, video. Um, hack media, videos. There we go. In she goes. So if you're doing climate change, plastics, you know, our solution is to, you know, insert amazing idea here. Bye. So you can start to do some stuff like that. Um, so doing a voice record, as we said, is probably a really great kind of added addition into there, but you need to just start storyboarding up mainly what those main messages are going to be. I think before I make any video, I really sort of sit down and think about what those key messages are going to be. So like what those key areas that we're going to kind of make each particular um, part of the video um, about. And then when it comes to video content, just only try to communicate one message at a time because by the time you're kind of over, over flooding the slides with lots of information, unless you're going to pause and actually talk to that so it's really easy for people to comprehend, I think just try to commit to one particular message at a time and then move through the messages, you know, relatively quickly so you can kind of achieve that. So when it comes to uploading your submissions on Sunday, it gets pretty crazy because it's got to go into a Dropbox. And so internet can always become like problematic. I'd probably try to kind of keep your video, if, when you're exporting it, if you can export it at about 500 megabytes, it's going to just make your life and our life so much easier. So the file transfer stuff's just always, you know, you know, can, can kind of go either way. You could probably upload into the Dropbox and um, find that a really quick process, but you might, you know, have internet issues on Sunday. So I would be giving you well, yourself plenty of time to do that, like at least sort of 20 or 30 minutes to upload your video. And if you're having any problems, like it's not, we're not going to like not let your video be in the final um, submission because it came in at, at 102 or 103. So if it's still uploading and it's just like clocking over to one, don't freak out because it's fine. But if you're having major problems, then obviously get in touch with your actual mentor and they'll contact us here at, at Hack Live and we will make sure that you um, have the support that you need to get the video to us. Um, and that's all from me today. Good luck, everybody. I hope you have fun and I can't wait to see your submissions. See you guys.